Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, is expected to play a pivotal figure in the life of her first grandchild and to provide her daughter and Prince Harry with support as they settle into parenthood. Meghan Markle is due to deliver her first child to Prince Harry sometime in late April or early May. Rumors have been rife about Meghan asking her mother, Doria Ragland, to move to Britain to personally help take care of her grandchild rather than calling in support from royal nannies. But while rumors of an impending relocation to the UK are yet to be confirmed, royal commentator Victoria Murphy insisted the Duchess of Sussex will be able to rely on her mum as she settles into motherhood. Speaking to Channel 9's Today Show, Ms Murphy said, I think her mum is going to be hugely important to her in these first few weeks like all mums are. It's about supporting the mother as well as helping with the baby. Meghan does have some friends over here, she has people that she knows, has known for a while, who live over here, she's not completely reliant on Harry. Royals usually enlist the help of the finest nannies on earth from Norland College. Kate Middleton and Prince William have a Norland nanny, who has been referred to as a real-life James Bond. But Meghan and Harry could continue their trend of breaking with tradition to help the newest royal feel family support as she welcomes her first child. Ms Murphy continued, she has left behind her old life and a lot of her old friends. With the royals, the biggest thing for them is this issue of trust and finding people who they can really trust. Of course, Meghan knows she can really trust her mum. Her mum is definitely going to be a pivotal figure. The royal commentator however suggested the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could ultimately decide to copy Kate and William and opt to be directly involved with the upbringing of the royal tot but ask for additional support from a trained nanny. She added, what we do know is that Harry and Meghan do like William and Kate wanting to play those pivotal roles in their children's upbringing. They don't want those roles to be played by staff. We do expect Meghan's mum Doria to be a big support to them in those first few weeks but I would be very surprised if they didn't get a nanny, and probably sooner rather than later. If you look back to William and Kate, there was a lot of chat about them not getting a nanny. Wishing just a few weeks, they had actually hired William's former nanny, Jessie Webb, to help them out. Harry and Meghan are working royals, they will be in the fullness of time carrying out engagements and also traveling. They can get that help and I think that they will. In addition to veteran M's Webb, Kate and William have been able to rely on the support of another Norland alumna, the no-nonsense Maria Borello. M's Borello joined the Cambridge's household when Prince George was eight months old and has since looked after Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. The nanny often accompanies the Duke and Duchess as they travel the world keeping a low profile while supervising the upbringing and well-being of the young royal toddlers. Spanish-born Nanny Ms. Brallo has reportedly received training in self-defense and evasive driving techniques in order to help protect the future king and queen consort. The Norland Nanny School, founded in 1892 by Emily Ward, is a provider of childcare training and education. It is seen as one of the top schools of its kind in the world.